Hi, we are here tonight with Judy Richardson. She's having an art show at Flowerstone Frame and Art Studio for the month of June. And we have a lot of her paintings on display and tonight is her opening reception. And I know some of you mentioned on Facebook that you can't come, that you won't be able to be here. So I thought it would be fun if we did a little interview together so that you could see Judy and hear her talk about some of her paintings. So Judy's here with me. And we're sitting in front of the wall of big paintings. Let's see, I'll pan a little bit up here. And you're gonna have to be uh, kind to me because I'm learning how to use equipment. So, welcome. Thank you, thank you. I'm very excited about the show tonight. We've got uh, many of my paintings that I've done. And um, I think, I think, what I've tried to do is capture an emotion on the canvas so that uh, somebody can feel something, either something they've done as a child or uh, experienced sometime in their life that was very emotional and meaningful to them. And so that's, that's where I come up with my uh, need for for what, what you do. What I'm gonna, yes, what I'm going to paint. I've had so much fun looking through these, and I know as I look at these, um, I was telling my friends today, I think what I find when I look at your paintings is it's like when you go for a walk in the country and you find that perfect spot, <laughs> and you just go, you breathe it in, and you just go, this is that perfect spot. I just want to be here for a little while. I just yeah. want to relax here and it's just you know it's all about the lighting it's about the scenery you know there's just something peaceful and in each one that i looked at there was something different that that i loved you know there was something peaceful and serene yeah yeah love that that's good. That's the way I want you to feel. <laughs> so one question I have, and I didn't warn you about this one, but um, one question I have is these scenes that you've created, like, do you have, are these real places? No. None of them are? Uh, no, not the whole thing. I usually use a composite of various things and put them together okay. uh, to highlight each other. You know, it's funny, I said every one of them is like this peaceful place I want to be. And I, was, I said that today to Morgan, and she said, well, except for this one. And she pointed out the, the big Oh, yeah, one. the fire. <laughs> <laughs> that's the one that's maybe not the one place you really want to be. <laughs> not at that moment, but I love that's that one. That's it's that's just so different. <laughs> it's so different. So what painting would you say has the best story? Because I think they all have a story to them. Um, I or love the autumn in the, on the pond, you know, that one with the boat there, and uh -huh. there's a, it's up in the mountains, and it has a, a barn, and, and some Herefords yeah. lounging around. So what's so. the story with this one? Let's, uh, let's take a look at it. Let's see. I don't think it's going to let me turn around, so we'll do it this way. Okay, so that's this one. What's the story with it? Well, I can just see myself as a, a kid with my uh, friends. I usually had boyfriends because I was such a tomboy. <laughs> oh, sure. Yeah, that's, that's and why. I could just see us going down that trail and coming over and maybe even getting in that boat and jig around a little bit. <laughs> Fun. Yeah, so what about... Um, Stories while you were painting them too. Did you have any experiences that you tell people when you, you know, just stories that come up when you show the different paintings? Well, I I've got a secret with with my painting. Um, I've I've taken a lot of different lessons from different people and, and been in a few college classes and stuff like that. But when I decide what I want to paint. I always pray over my empty canvas first so that visiting ministering angels or the Lord whoever can kind of give me ideas of uh, how to accomplish it. And I've proven that to be so because sometimes I have 
been doing things that I have learned later that the rule and uh, I have been taught that by earlier by somebody else <laughs> that I learned that I I, I did that. that yeah so it's it's always that way because I I don't feel like I want to do it all by myself I want some inspiration and I love that, like and that. I think that's probably what helps you create that serene feeling, that peacefulness, um, is that spiritual level yeah. of the painting. Yeah. That's neat. Yeah. That's really good. So I know last night when we were hanging the show, you were um, telling me which painting is Bob's favorite. Which one was, and I want to know which one is Bob's favorite and which one is your favorite. He wouldn't let me take his to here, of course. He doesn't ever want it to sell. So. Oh, did <laughs> you don't... not? You have a print of it, though. No. You don't even have a print of it here? No. <laughs> and it's just small. It's probably 12 by 18, the canvas size. But uh, it hangs in our kitchen. And he's like, oh, I love that picture. I love that picture. What's in it? It's uh, a horse and buggy uh -huh. coming up over a knoll and passing this rock house and it's done in grays and rust so it's kind of a really moody type thing and clouds and gray well, that's, clouds. That's almost not even fair. <laughs> now I feel like now I feel like I'm gonna have to go to Judy's house and take a picture of that one to share with you just so you can see which one is Bob's favorite because now we're all gonna be yeah. curious. I mean I've probably seen it. I have but I you know I want to see yeah. it again and know that it's his favorite. I can tell you which one has sold over the Americas, the okay. most of, and that is the this one. Hold it out. Uh, oh, with the the streaming light down. Uh huh. Oh, I love yep. this one. Yeah, that I love sold this. Many, many um, old faithfuls. Yep, and plus the original has sold. Okay, so one of the things that I think most, well, some people know, but a lot of people won't know, is that you had this um, contract with John Deere. Yes, my publisher, so, who published all my prints, uh, had actually had the, the license to allow me to paint their John mm -hmm. Deere tractors. Uh, and then they would get a percentage of, a, of the income of what the... <laughs> Print sold. So how long ago did you, or how long did you have a contract with them? I think it was about five years, and it's been probably six years ago. Well, that's great. That I mean, changed. you're good at painting those tractors. Yes, well, and then they always tell me, if you want to sell something, you better put a tractor in it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I like the paintings without tractors just as much, if not more, so. Good. But, you know, my little guy loves the tractors, I try too. not to bring too many to this show, but I can see that there's quite a few. Hey, well, they, they're working. They're working for you. I just wanted to show this one um, that we were talking about. This is just a really different piece of yours. You know, do you want to say anything about it? It's actually a, a photograph of uh, the Cedar Cities. Cedar Breaks fires that were in Utah oh. that were very devastating and awful. And then I just put a, a deer in there when I saw my painted. I did the front half uh, just by an arc. Wow. So it was a picture. You don't know whose picture that was, or was it in the paper or something? It was in the newspaper. Yeah. Um, so, okay, so you told I us which one it. sold the most, and you told us which one was about Bob's favorite, but do you have a favorite? Is that like picking a favorite child? Yeah. Yes. But they, they don't have feelings, so it's yeah. okay for you to tell us who yeah. your favorite child is. I can't I really tell like them my favorite autumn. child. I like that autumn one. Oh, yeah, that's right. This one is really beautiful. It's got so much detail, which just gives it a lot of that feeling. Yeah, that's the one I really can. It is really this was a picture of my son Philip as he was in one of the Church of Jesus Christ Latter-day Saints my movies. It was called, um, oh, and now I've forgotten, How Rare a Possession. It still has a view, and it was a vignette in the movie of Nephi building the ship. Oh. And so that's kind of 
special. Yeah, he was calling it his painting last night. That one's his. <laughs> and your most recent painting? Which one's your most recent? The, the sheep. Is it the sheep one? The sheep. Oh, right in front of it. Yeah. And uh, this one up here with the geese. Oh, and this one with the geese. Yeah, my grandbaby loved this one today. She was quacking at it. I have the most wonderful collection of barns of photo of photography. Oh, is that I, what every you time I see one I for think references? Yes. yes. Well, I love all this old dilapidated buildings. Um, my girls and I, we went on a trip to Canada. We do a lot of road trips there because they were born there. And yeah. one of the road trips we went on that was just me and the girls. We decided that everyone that we saw along the road or along the I-15, we would stop and go explore. <laughs> so we were hopping fences and running through fields. And so yeah. I like the way that you said in one of your write-ups that your pictures are nostalgic. Because I'm like, that's what they've been doing for me since we hung them up, is just create yep. these memories of you know, they, places they you've been. They're, they're just getting few and far between. Well, I think it's amazing that you can do that without them being real places that I've been to. You know, I grew up on a farm in Missouri, not even a working farm. I, there wasn't a tractor. <laughs> but there was old buildings and there was barns and there was cows and a couple ponies and, you know, these just, they're really beautiful, Judy. I love them. Oh, good. Thank you very much. So is there anything in your future that you kind of want to paint? I want to see if I can loosen up a little bit. You know, these are very realistic. And uh, your style, I, I love your style too, and what you do here with just out of your head, it's unbelievable. And yeah, I, 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 want to I would love to see what you could do more impressionistic just because it's, I mean, some of your more areas do get, I mean, you're able to do this realism, but I wonder, you know, you've got, areas back back in here that are you know I I can't paint realism like you can but I feel like you get impressionistic expressionistic even in a lot of these places where the color yeah, showing it's really beautiful the background, yeah. yeah well thanks thanks for taking the time and you if you uh, missed Judy's show hopefully this is a nice little uh, preview for you or I guess it'll be a show for him later because yeah <laughs> not doing it live we didn't know how this would go but anyway if you get a chance to stop in her artwork is on display for the entire month of june and we're behind the scuba dive in riverton 2478 west 126 south 12600 south um, at the back of the building so come see it